Welcome everybody to another episode of Dropping Bars and today I have with me on the show the one, the only, Brighter Star. Brighter Star, welcome to the show. No ramen to the thing and I don't know Dropping Bars and big up yourself, my general man. Yes, I. Awesome. So, so Brighter, uh, again, thank you so much for agreeing to do um, this show uh, with me and let me just say Thank you for uh, the Dropping Bars theme song. I mean, that's a hit. I'm getting a lot of love from it. People are loving it. So, so thank you for helping me bring this, bring this to life. Now, in, in, you are one of the leading dancehall and reggae artists out of Grenada. So tell me, what, what was that inspiration that, that, that led you down a musical path? Well, it come out of a long way, you know, from... You know, since from my youth, you know, but as the journey continue, you know, like, but me, the love music from long, you know, dance all vibe, you know, because when we're young, we go to school, you do freestyle out of your head, your friend and them are wrong, they say that bad, that bad, and the hype come from there, you know. Right. But the, the musical world have a bigger essence than just what we're dealing with. Because as I tell you now, if we as Grenadian people now don't have the level of professionalism, the industry wouldn't, wouldn't take we serious. Right. Over, so right about now, as a musician, not only singing alone, but you know, even selling selling Grenada product on a whole. You know, that is an age we are where we as Grenadian people have to look into. Like we don't really appreciate what we have and know, you know, what we really have down here until it explode and mm -hmm. the nice start to make, you know. But I seen a lot of talented people on the ground in Grenada, not only in music alone, let's say culture on a whole. Because culture, arts, craft is all the same thing, you know? And, you know, I don't really want them to take this generation for a joke. I want them to take the thing serious because I don't want them hunger with like nutmeg and cocoa because we think rich, you know what I'm saying? So we have to learn to sell our product as our soccer artists and our dancer artists. Even what you're doing there now to awaken the black people because it's a greater awakening. It's just the works now, but looking like the work. But beyond the works now, it's a great energy. And even you yourself, that when I decide to come on the show to, you have that energy within you to unlock and call the next generation to come, not only in music alone, but in everything. Black people is the fire nation. Black people is the talented nation. Mm -hmm. So black people just have to look, in, look within themselves and approach the business on a professional level and stop being emotional because emotions were destroying the culture. Right. So right. once you're emotional, yeah, once you're emotional, you won't have the discipline. You see me? Okay. So so, mm -hmm. all right. So so now, in Grenada, I mean, you, you spoke about the music and and um, the, the the culture and everything. Now in mm -hmm. Grenada, the, the the main musical genre that we have is soca, but you found success in a different genre, which is you know reggae and and dancehall. Sure. Uh, did you did you know that you could? Was it was there something within you that said you know what, reggae and dancehall is what I like, and I am going to do what I need to do to find success there. Uh, were you ever? I know you have one or two soca. I, I mean, you have the beast, and okay. then you have um, Ramenosis, uh, the, the song of the Ramenosis rhythm there. That, that those, are, those are two soca, right? But but your main genre of music is 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 dancehall and reggae. What True. what what was it that 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 said to you? You know what the, the road I want to go down is reggae and dancehall and not soca. Well, as time goes on, you now professionalism advances on a different level. So I see the music different from three years or five years ago because it's professionalism now training to bring value to the craft. You check it. So music is like a bridge to all universe and all and a language too. To the earth, to the universe, is one call. So it don't matter you sing soca, dancehall, or any other music. That is the fusion now where we have to join the bridges. The overs me far right to create that one because no matter I sing and dancehall, our next artist singing soca. If we go to think like I sing and dancehall, and you go create a barrier and we won't get the support we need. So at right. least now, the reason I sing soca music now is to create that respect for the soca artists them. Because my main plan now is to pay my homage to the soca artists. Then we have a collab with Killer already. You understand? Right. And we have to do some collab. Me and Talpri have one. 
which I will pay them the respect. I'm versatile enough to do that. But right. My true love and my true calling now is reggae and dancehall music, you know, the positive music. Even right. now, I don't get a chance to even do my real reggae music because Grenada really don't really overstand the vision. So even the dancehall music, not that one make me get viral is the Raminosis thing because now you can't just be an artist alone. You have to be creative. So even though they check, they don't check in on the music. You could have a other product now to get the awareness of the people. So it's all about finding creative strategies and using social media and using, it's like opening the minds right now because how see it? When we watch white people lifestyle, some of them working in the bank and some of them doing diving and they have their little camera and they post it up and they get more views and they still get paid. I right. see in the same set of black people nowadays, all they were studying about is to meme and kick span you and create a set of drama in them life. So how come they can't use social media to, to promote their locals, you know, the local product? How they cannot use social media, the same video they, they're posting up. I seen other people posting it up and making money off them because they don't understand. So when I check it out, it's a lack of knowledge. You know, mm -hmm. it's like yeah, you're not... Your knowledge is as far as your language. You know what I mean? I'm saying right. right now, time for time for the people them right now, we as black people, to shift our mindset and the industrial side of life and try and bring value to our craft. Train, do research. You know what I'm saying? Be around positive mindset. The same thing like what dropping the bars, like why you say dropping the bars, I love the idea because it creates a new generation for our people because right. black people don't have black people don't have a nation black people scattered all around the earth we, we, we're looking for our identity you know and the day we as black people come together that will be one of the greatest events known to the face of the earth because why now the industry and business will become more simpler for us now right got you so got instead you. of instead of instead of that way, I say fully provision so instead of say, going to hollywood or trying to depend on a on stage in Jamaica, we could set up one Caribbean island unit, unity and we could throw the Caribbean well up instead of having to go far, far. And it's what our people are there here, so one people. So that why I say one welding. You understand right. me? Yeah, yeah. But, but now some people just have to see the thing after he manifests into the solid state of the physical appearance. Car. Most people do not know the power of how to manifest the thought and the word song into the physical. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Because either now they're trying to fight the blessing, or either now they're doing it unwillingly. You check it. But we as human beings have to balance and find our balance within our, ourselves. So nature is like the, the laws of, you know, the laws of attraction. When you do positive, positive that follow. When you right. do negative, it's negative that follow. So you have to know yourself. You over and wait and dedicate yourself and you know let nature answer to your call and you answer to nature is a connection you over right so now as you over, over the past over the past um years and i mean and recently there have been a lot of like um like, like i can know uh, on saturday you had you had a you had a show you have another show coming up um next month with shensia yeah. and them um, and, mm -hmm. and, and, and and there's a there's a vibe a vibe happening right now. There's a, there's a, there's everybody everybody know brighter side right about now. Everybody want brighter oh. side in their show, right? Yeah. Um, but but before you got to that place where you know everybody know brighter, everybody want brighter in, in, in on their show. Were there any obstacles that you had to overcome in order to get to that place? Well, Rasta is right now even an obstacle in other way. Still, even though me getting through. It's still an obstacle in other way. But now the reason the obstacle they in other way now, we as Grenadian artists and DJ and personnel, we get in that treatment through our level of professionalism. So you come back to we. Right. Because if we don't have the knowledge, how we go upgrade? You understand me? How we go past that barrier? So from all the years I do in music, I used to be a controversial artist that, you know, just to target people and try to diss them in a way. But I was looking for the attention because sometimes you have to make noise until the right person hear you, isn't it? Right. Because you have a whole different thing in the music industry. I, I, as a man, I studied the musical industry. I'm a product of Jamaica. Why now? Jamaican people now. Anytime they see a way out, 
they put aside everything else and head to it. Well, most of the artists them, who was, some of them make jail, some of them is criminal, but I respect them for that kind of level of industrialization. You know what I'm saying? Each Jamaican artist, them have the outer national bank account. You check it, mm -hmm. they registered on BMI to get the royalties. You know, they have the publisher, they have the managers. But in Grenada, we don't have none of them thing there. So the, the, the music don't really bust with just the artists alone from the stage. You have to have a network. Right. And people in Grenada, that's why I'm telling you, the promoters do not know how to, they don't know how to sell the, the craft. They don't know how to sell the artists. Like, we could alter all this mega, mega show happening in Grenada from the TJ. After all the show, right, that's supposed to be ready to fly out. Right, to check it because, but no, my main plan is not to fly out because after that, now I'm trying to plan Brighter Star 473 and X Team Grenada 2 because nobody never think about that. The reason I'm doing a Grenada 2 first before I go out to national is to show respect to Grenada because everybody wants to fly out, fly out, and left Grenada in the same position. But I want to build a knowledge in Grenada where we can have booking agency, where we, can, where we have managers where we have a whole network, where we have promoters who know how to sell the product, like Sting and them, after they Sting and they mash up the show, the, the wall call you. You gotcha. check it? Yeah. And have people who know, got people who know about stage planning, got people who know the artists, because even some of them show I go in, them man search me at the gate, and it's the same set of security I seen over and over. So I can understand this level of unprofessionalism. They're not really treating us as artists, you know what I mean? I said, right, right. But, as 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 I see what you're saying, uh, and and that's the reason why I know mm. I noticed that you're speaking about you know being professional and and having a level of professionalism yeah. throughout it. So that that that's very important. Yeah, man. And so mm -hmm. I mean, this, despite all of that, I, I'm pretty sure that there were some lessons that you learned along the way that you can share with us. I mean, what 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 are like two big lessons you learned that that you know you 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 you, you could share with 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 our audience. Well, the first lesson I would like to share with Grenadian people, emotion and business do not work hand in hand. It is the emotion that kill the culture in Grenada and slow it down. Why now? When you have to be focusing on greatness, you're focusing on petty things. So your, your focus diverted to a lower standard, which now is under the counter towards the business, which don't work into the business. So now when things are supposed to be going forward, man, you're sitting down and saying, yeah, um, Kim Ran get booking again, I don't get so they support not the, and they, they're from where you're from and they're not supportive. Why now? Right. They see the thing on a low level. When it's supposed to be seeing the thing on a greater, like it's trying to raise the whole of Grenada, then you over. So right. emotion and business do not work. And the next level is keeping building your value. Like you might be training, some might, people mightn't see you on the block and thing again because you have time to train and thing, you don't have time. So they might say you switch, you understand me, they might, they might say now you turn on them, but they don't know, be feeling value, you need time to train to put value to your craft. You right. understand me? Yes. So that's, yeah, that's the, very important. The time you, yeah, so that is the two things I have learned in a Grenada dance hall. And even the soccer artists, them, enough of them coming in at the show. And they don't have a level of professionalism. They don't ask him for tent. They don't, you know what I mean? I said, they don't really, they don't have no contract like to a rider to send and give the promoter and tell the promoter they want a BMW to pull up with them. Like to, to create a zest in the industry. Right, you understand right. me? Like for yeah, me, yeah. if I want to bring up my worth, if I want to bring up my worth in our music right now, I just make a big gold chain and I'm a provision lad with a big piece of yam in it with the root them in diamonds. And then my price gone up, Rasta. There is things you could do in the industry to build your work. So we as artists and DJs are supposed to be sitting down and working hand in hand because in Grenada is the only place I've seen that artists and DJ don't socialize together. I don't know what's wrong with them. I don't know. You see, the emotion thing to them to emotional in the business, brother. And for emotional, this is the main virus that will kill the industry. You see me? That's why my brightest start thing different. Everybody feeling now ramming, ramming. But even though me using my page right now to promote people even, you check it, me don't have to get booked, but it's just a level of the alien brain. Right. There is so much things you could do right now as a youth than just sit down every day and talk about 
I feel a blight. I feel people spile me. Things don't go in me way. <laughs> you understand me? Yeah, yeah. So at the end of the day, I just trying to show you the laws of attraction. If so, you're thinking, well, that's the same thing where we follow you. Exactly. As a man thinking. Mm -hmm. um, right. So, so that's why now. Mm -hmm. That's why now we have to surround ourselves with progressive. And same thing like what you try to do in dropping the bars because you've been around progressive, positive, motivational positive. thinkers. So once you be around that energy, the laws of attraction shall return the favor. It is you have to grant your desires. You know, you have to be real, you know, with yourself. All right? You have to find a balance within yourself and, you know, play your part the real way because even you is a part of the industry also, you know? Right. So, yeah. great. Um, and, and, and right there, I mean, thank you so much for, for, for sharing that because, you know, I, I fully believe, especially in the last lesson that you shared about adding value to your craft. Um, I think when you add value, instead of running behind the money, when you add value to yourself, the money is going to run behind you, right? Sure, so, sure. so, so, thank you so much for saying that. Now, I, I want, I want you, you touched on something a little bit. You touched on the social media. I know that you, 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 mm. you have, you've been having some success on social media. I mean, you have like thousands of followers on Instagram, um, on, 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 on TikTok, and people, people like the vibe. People like, you know, when, when you, when you, when you come out with those slang, right? About now, everybody saying fully provision. Right now, I have, have people saying they, they're no longer eating ramen. Like, yeah. um, so how do you, how do you, it, it, do, do you like sit down and sometimes think about, uh, okay, like how, what, what can I come up with? What can I come up with today to get people talking? Or is it something that, you know, like you maybe just think about it in the moment and you just put it all there? Or do you like sit down and plan and say, you nah, know what? Uh, basically, no. Mm-hmm. Basically, that come from a long way. When I small now, I some cousin I used to rap me because my head be kind of long. They used to call me cocky. You understand? Right. <laughs> right. So, see, like they said, me in the shop now, and I see me, them man was bigger than me. They're my bigger cousin. They call them Prona and Jerry. So, like, when they see me now, they used to rap me. So, when right. from a small now, I, I had to defend myself and give them lyrics because they just used to do that now for me to make them laugh. They like how me I go and see that rude, you know, understand? Me? Right. So, from small now, this man and them been training me. You know, if I'm small now, I have to defend myself, you understand, and have lyrics, you understand me, to, to make people know that you can't get you wrong here. And so I've been training for this time now, this, this thing like certain thing you can't stop because people feel like Grenada will be done forever. No, an aging life will come that Grenada to overcome too, even though you take it as the last Caribbean island to overcome. But some new zealous youths in Grenada will change Grenada one day. So I just want to be a part you know, it's an honor to be a part of this movement, you know? So even though I contribute in what I could contribute now, because I know the thing go add up at the end of the day, you know? Right. So every youth out there now, no matter they might be taking you serious or they might be taking you as a laughter, because social media try to carry a stunt and bright a star, but good or bad, good or bad publicity, it don't really make sense. As I told you, it's keeping the thing on a professional level. What is your vision? Because talent without no vision is no talent at all. You check right, it. Right. So right. now, mm -hmm. is to build. The plan was to build an organic fan base without getting any promotional and building a strong fan base from the ground. You check it. So, me think about the ramen business. Me realize all the youth them love ramen because I realize ramen and make money. So me say, all right, ramen and make money. So me use the alien brain now. The alien brain now is a plan now you're coming up with to make the money busy because our parents used to run down money. So how I see it now, every ghetto you have to have the alien brain right now to make the money fly down, you see me? And plus now, the man with the biggest alien brain in Grenada who will teach me about the alien brain, who nobody can really play around in Grenada when it comes to business, is my godfather, Wagiti. He, he right. is the alien brain himself. That's the alien brain, you check it. So I learn a lot from him on the business side too, eh? as an artist, because I remember when I did a video, I say Wagiti set up a stage. And I tell Judah the same way, but... I find Judah was emotional on a level, but Wagiti had the alien brain. As I say that, I me, me, me make it nice now for he to hear me. So everybody, school children, said, Wagiti set up his stage. And you know, understand, anywhere you go, it's a torment. Right. So now, I realize, me realize me had a power now, not just only as an artist, because for you to go viral without a hit song, you have to be great in at this time, you know, you check it? Mm -hmm. so that when I realize now that we as artists now have to be more than artists. Either because when you check it out, when people get to know you, what product you're bringing to the market, what you're selling, what vision you have, you check it. Right. So we can't end up like, you know, certain artists 
we seen certain artists hot this year and next year they not not go on for them and some of them end up on coke, some of them sick. So, and music and a pension. So we as artists and DJ you now, we have to learn to take care of each other, create a professional application to the industry shall respect it. Because as long as we can come together, you know, and as long as we can put that level of profession, I alone can do it, the others. And me, Bright star, I never wanted to be an artist for myself because now I am a man I love, I, I don't live in like democratic people like I'm in house and fence up and I feel like good. No, I love the nation wide of people like black people and a whole like as a nation, move mm -hmm. as a nation, one people. So I see it. We must see ourselves as one Caribbean first and break out this Trinidad and this Grenadian and Jamaican mentality. You understand me? Right. I got because, you. I got yeah, you. Big. So that, that's slowing down the whole movement. And then that why I come with the fully provision movement and picking up all Caribbean island because. It's Trinidad helped me to go viral, same way, St. Vincent. When my own people know the kind of kicks in on me and thing, and they don't, because they don't know how to sell the product, you know what I'm saying? Right, yeah. So now you have to try to break a barrier out there, you know, like go on stage or try to go Trinidad tempo. But now, for me now, I study Grenada and I know Grenada is a very controversial place. So that make me now give me an advantage on them. Because remember, I'm an artist slash, I could make them happy, laugh, do whatsoever I want. So. I all the time keep relevant now by doing my social, social media, which give me confidence to talk to people, which give me strength now to listen, to counteract, you know what I'm saying? Right, right. So, 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 mm. so, Brita, I know um, yeah. you, whenever, whenever, I, whenever I see you in a show, you always have the X team with you. Right? Yeah, man. You always have the X team with you. If, if it's not the entire X team, at least so, some members of the X team, tell me, Yes. Uh, the the so what what's the what's the the the, the 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 I guess the, the the idea or the plan behind it is it I know we're talking about togetherness in the music but what's the next step what's the next step for the X team I know we, we know what Bright that's what I want to do but what about the X team as a as a well, right as, now, as a musical fraternity well right now you know I is a X team mutant right now I turn a mutant on them you understand me. So the whole team now basically have the team. There is artists in the team who also got a product which the people seen. So I will select the best two. You understand me? But mm -hmm. we we there we have to have one mindset. We have to be on the same page because remember it's a level of professionalism and a product we sell it. I am just the lead out artist, and then after brighter stuff come out, you know, more artists to come because I don't want to. I realize all other artists performing for themselves. I see Skilly Ben perform. to bring down an artist game of life. Jada Kingdom do the same thing. I seen them same soccer artists in Grenada doing that. I don't know how they agree for stage. So you understand me? We, mm -hmm. we don't get in bookings already. Share the spotlight with other artists. So if they perform good and get the get the hype and, and, and you know sell the product the way they have to, they could get other bookings. So this is the main plan now behind sharing your stage with an artist. You understand me? Because right. even in Grenville, they, when I go and perform, I end up bringing up a female artist, which is tiny. So, you know, she's a female artist. So it's not only for X team alone, it is for other artists now who know, feel they have the talent and want the opportunity to really sell their product. So if you have an artist from Victoria and Irelbad, or an artist from Guav, who is a ghetto it and don't get any chance. So my thing more bigger than just me. You understand? Right. That's why now I have to be a lead out artist. That's why the purpose to be a leader. You understand? So. If somebody else get a position, it'll be about them. You check it. So that's why Grenada have to give me the forward also because get to want it happen. Because once Bright has to make it happen, it will happen for everybody. Cause that is at my purpose. I have to shine the light. That, that is my name to fulfill the work. You check it? Right. Mm. All right. Okay. So Brighter, thank you so much for, for, for coming on and for sharing with us. Now, as we wrap up, I want you to leave, if, if there is any, well, not, not if there, I mean, I know there are upcoming artists. What is one, what is one, you know, um, encouragement you can give to up and coming artists that, so for, for, for them to, who may, who may feel like they don't have the support that they need right now, but, you know, so, what is one encouragement that you could, you could give to those up and coming artists to, 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 to let them know that they need to just um, stick with it uh, put in the work and just um and one day I guess they will they will they will they will make it they will, they will see the kind of success that they're looking for. What is one encouragement you could give to the up and coming artists? 
Well, one knowledge and a knowledge is power, you know. So if the youth and them now want to be a great artist, you have to have the knowledge now to know what you're dealing with. You know? So as I see, as we say earlier on, with the emotional part thing, because most youth and things very emotional and stuff, they traumatize everything. And to me, I find it's more the hype and bossy part they see in, in the musical industry, how to hype and bossy. But if we as black people educate ourselves, you know, a lot of great things will be going on for us because you can, you can do what you don't know. You check right. it. So first of all, the artists and them have to humble themselves and educate themselves now on the musical side of things. When I say educate themselves, learn, you know, about the industry, how to get your out a national bank account, what artists have to do, how artists have to leave the image of your artist. You understand me? So seek knowledge, man, and put value to your craft. You might find nothing going on for you now, but, you know, now it's time for you to be training and put your focus into training and stop watching other people who've been training other years and get the time in the line up. You see me far right? Right. And even though you're day in a team, know, know how to be a team player. You understand me? Don't just right. day in a team because of opportunity. Play your part and play your role and keep the thing on a very professional level because even everybody watching, you might feel simple and think, after we do that out of you, somebody must get a vibe. Somebody might be awakened, but everybody looking. So you have to know how to, you know, take care of yourself and how to, you know, use the bad and turn it into positive, like, when we born at Ramin and thing, everybody want to say Ray, Ray, Ray. But right now, to see what we're doing now, it can motivate them to we turn in the fan base and positive and how to make money. You understand? It's alien right. brain, you see it? Right. So at the end of the day, when you make the noise and people listening, don't make noise like the cry wolf. When the people looking now, different strategies, show them what product you have. You see me? So it's a strategy because anytime right, I start to make noise on Facebook, you know it's something coming, you know, understand me? Right. It's a true, you know, some kind of promotion vibe. Something, so we don't something. really, yeah, yeah. So the youths and them have to know. You, I know you won't get your same thing as bright as star, but look within yourself and see what kind of characteristics are rolling through and join yourself and unlock it because black people is blessed with unlimited talent. You understand me? So people have to look within themselves and focus and try to put value to them craft, be on a professional level. So people go take you serious. You know, that's the most advice people give. get to it for now because we build in the same way. You know, and don't afraid to go out and support even though you don't get our two bookings, but show the people the definition of support. You understand me? Absolutely. And support, support the culture, support the craft, even just as yourself, we fully support what you're doing because it's motivational to the youth. And just the other day, a man tell me now, why I still do something for Premier and but you say, why since I'm small, but a man with motivating people to Sweden and things, so I don't know. That is, you know, you is a part of the great generation. Right, also. right. Appreciate that. Yeah, so man. you have to take your thing on a professional level and show Grenada that we can do it and form nothing to something and elevate yourself from far right. Same thing with Brighter Star, you know? Same journey, one welding one. Absolutely. So Brighter Star, thank you so much for coming on and, and sharing with us today. And to everyone who, who tuned in, thank you so much for tuning in to another episode of Dropping Bars. Uh, see you next week when I will have another episode and another special guest for you. So again, thank you and Brighter. Thank you again for being here. Fully provision, man. Anything to build the get donation, I don't know. Yes, sir.